Oh, wow. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Well, this is troubling. It seems we are once again locked in. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit, then. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Thank you. 
Baccarat. You ever played Jupe? No, uh, never. Alright then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to 9 wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9. The weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10th spot. You get it? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything.
This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach Sea Deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you gonna be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. Everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D-deck is completely underwater. 
Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> Yeah, I see it! No two ways about it! That was a pretty good one, kid. Oh! Oh, would you watch it, man? Whoo, that hurts! You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this'll toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff. Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds like Lotus, all right. Seven. Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right this time. Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? Hey, what... what is this place? It's so huge... and empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> yep, locked. Just like I thought. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game, and to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. 
Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nothing. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The bottom? Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot for something, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? June! Ace! Santa! Clover! A and Lotus! Guess everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20s. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. 
The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean... I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Huh. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten... Eleven... Twelve. Huh. Twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. But we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, just maybe? <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. Huh? What are they doing over there?